You never quite know if you're going to get it right. The most important thing is to give it your best go, to listen to your player and to learn from your mistakes. I made many mistakes with Simona. There's no question about it. Um, I, I can tell you one, one of the biggest mistakes, and I'm going to talk about this a little bit later today, is after she lost that final um, against Ostapenko at the French Open, everybody was devastated, I'm sure. I was devastated. We, we went to a room at the French Open where you walk onto the court and there's a, a room for the two players to, to go in by themselves. And Simona asked me to come in after she lost. I didn't know what to say. She was up a set, three love, break points. So the match and the title was there for her. And I knew how much winning a Grand Slam meant to her and meant to everybody you know, here in Romania. Mr. Tyriak pulled me aside. He's like shaking me. We've got to win today. We've got to win for Romania today. And I'm like, I know, I know. And, and we were sitting there and for about 20, 25 minutes, Simona was in tears, just crying. And I didn't know what to tell her because I knew what was going through her mind is that this was my chance and I blew it. I, this was my great chance to win a Grand Slam title and it slipped through my fingers. So where do you go from there? How do you pick the athlete up and make them stronger, make them better and make them believe they can get it done? And I pushed pretty hard after that French Open to get her back on. We say get back on the horse. If you fall off, get back on the horse. In Australia. In Australia, like in exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you have the same saying here, but something yes, similar. Yes. So I pushed really hard. And I pushed her hard for two or three years. Train hard, train with a purpose, forget about the losses. Let's keep looking forward. Looking forward. Always looking, looking forward, forward. And just take each challenge day by day. And not think too much about the big picture because if you keep doing the right things, it'll take care of itself. You don't have to worry. But I wore her out a little bit. And the pushing, the pushing, the chances to get to number one. Uh, she lost a couple of matches against Conta at Wimbledon, then against Muguruza in the final at Cincinnati. Chances to go number one in the world. And then she lost that match against Sharapova at the USO. You guys remember the match against Sharapova? Yeah. yeah, okay. Yeah, it's okay though because <laughs> it, was a, it was a big day for us. Huge day for us because I was pushing so hard that I didn't see it and I didn't feel it. And afterwards, Teo Cecil, the fitness trainer, came up to me and I was upset after that match because I wanted her to beat Sharapova and she didn't stick to the game plan. And I'm thinking tennis. Game plan, you know, be aggressive, take your chances. And that's all I'm thinking. And Teo came up to me and he said, Darren, I need to tell you this, that I think sometimes we put too much pressure on her and at what, 168 centimetres, we expect too much. And I think sometimes you just have to go up there and give her a hug and tell her you love her. I think that would mean more to her now than talking about tennis. Yes. And I went, nah. You know, it's about the tennis. So Simona came out and again, she was in, you know, you could tell she'd been crying a little bit and we sat down and I talked about the tennis. I was an idiot and I spoke about the match and you could see the tears start to come down a little bit again and then she walked away, Tail walked away behind her to protect her a little bit and he's looking at me going... <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, I'm an idiot. <laughs> So I got up and I walked over and I got her out the locker room and I gave her a hug. I told her I loved it. I told her it was my fault. Uh, I'd put too much pressure on her. Um, this last six or seven weeks was a learning experience for me as well and that'll never happen again. And from now on, we're going to do this together. Three or four weeks later, she beat Sharapova 6-2, 6-2 in Asia. You remember? She went number one in the world. That was it. And she was a different player after that because all I did was give her a hug. And... Sometimes you need somebody next to you that you can trust to tell you the truth, to give you a different view through, through different eyes. And that was Tao. And, and he was a big reason why we turned things around. A great lesson. Applause.